Yes, good evening YouTube. I have my Raspberry Pi 2 Model B here running Kodi and I wanted to show you what it looks like when you add a video library file. I've been setting up my media server here so I go to add videos and browse and so I'm running a SMB or Windows uh, share off my Synology disk station and I was mentioning in my one of my earlier videos that you need to add folders that have just one particular kind of content in them so I have this video share that comes off of the Synology video station which is their tool that organizes video content but I have different sorts of things in here. I've got TV series, I've got music videos, I've got movies, and I have these science shows. These are like TV series, but they're related to science. And so I haven't added those yet, but you can see I've got Cosmos and the planets and the universe and some Nova National Geographic episodes. So I have these separated off of the regular TV series. I'm going to be adding the disk station slash video slash science folder. Okay, now here is where you can set the content that that folder contains. So there's none which says it won't do anything. Uh, it could be music videos, TV shows, or movies. So these are TV shows. Up here selects that the television database is going to be used. Now I do not have single shows. These are like whole series and episode separated shows. So there's multiple shows in a single folder. And I want to uh, include the library. So I'll just go with all the defaults here. It'll come up and say, do you want to refresh this information? And you want to say yes. And now you can see if at the top of the screen there, you can see it's actually scanning all the TV shows from that TV DB server. So it's getting episode information, cast and crew, uh, fan art, cover art, you know, all that sort of information. Takes a few minutes there. It's a little circuitous in that you, you go to video files and add those, but if that video content is a movie, it ends up under the movies. And if it's a TV show, it ends up under the TV shows tab. We can go by title, and now you can see the shows that I've added here. Got here the uh, you know James Burke, the day the universe changed series. Let's see what else is down here. Here's the original Cosmos from uh, 1980. You can see it's got a different artwork for every episode. There's three different versions of media info with different screen layouts. You've got just the basic list. You've got the big list. I think this has the episode and then it has like a rating. And then there's just your traditional thumbnail of each episode. I kind of like the media info. You uh, add content to that library. You can come over here and do the update library. I have this remote and I only have the arrow keys here, the enter key, and the back key. That kind of limits me. I can't do the context menu, which you could actually come up here and get a uh, context menu to update, for instance, just this folder if you wanted to. So anyway, I thought I'd show you what it looks like when you get a, a successful video file addition to your library and you get then all this uh, artwork. You can get the recently added. You can go browse by title. You get all your series. You know, they're all linked in there. Cover art, I didn't have to do any of this. It all got pulled over 
but the key to getting this to work is you have to follow some pretty strict naming guidelines 